we're off to find out how Nigerian-born Okwi and Wazer envisions the future of Munich's Haus der Kunst. Curator, art historian of international renown and the new head of Haus der Kunst. For Okwi and Wazer, the Nazi past of the museum is an opportunity for reflection. I cannot presume that there is, you know, that the ghost of Haus der Kunst is something that I can feel palpably. But what I can presume is the fact that that ghost remains somehow embedded in the DNA of the building, but something that we need to work with as we move forward. One of his tools is irony. The multicolored net that covers part of the building is a reference to the camouflage net that helped the building withstand the bombings of the Second World War virtually unscathed. When the museum opened in 1937 as the house of German art, it was more than just a building, it was a work of propaganda. At the celebration marking the day of German art, a scale model was carried through the streets of Munich. For the current show, Inwesa commissioned a 160 kilogram model out of white chocolate, a play on the sweet, seductive draw Hitler's ideology had on the masses. It stands opposite a copy of the speech Hitler gave to mark a major exhibition of German art in 1937. The show was intended to educate the German public about what was true German art, purged of degenerate and Jewish elements. It drew hundreds of thousands of visitors, images of heroism, kitsch and noble peasants. In 1945 came the break. It had an equally profound effect on the museum. We have to look to the future. And Hauser Kunz has been looking to the future since May 1945 when the American military occupied this building. The idea to start again from the ashes of the Haus der Deutschen Kunst has been something that we really need to sort of to look at in a much more careful way. The new director went to the archives and made some surprising finds. The hall where Hitler once gave speeches was turned into a basketball court by the Americans. That first exhibition after the war was a show of old Renaissance masters. Next came modernism an exhibition of works that only a short time before had been denounced as degenerate, from Kandinsky to Picasso. The House of German Art abandoned the German, both in its orientation and its name. New exhibitions addressed such themes as the relationship of art to architecture and cinema, or the interaction of fashion and culture. The current exhibition is a sober reflection on this post-war flowering, carefully researched and lined up on the shelves. But the concerns of that era still occupy us today. I don't believe in only presenting the, sync, the cult of the artist as a springboard for the understanding of artistic production. That is not what, you know, intrigues me. I'm also intrigued by the kinds of conversations that occur between forms, between ideas, between projects, between concepts, between uh, processes of production. And where's it first showed what could emerge from this exchange at the Documenta exhibition in Kassel 10 years ago. There he expanded the gaze past the borders of Europe and into Africa to make the Documenta truly international. He aims to provoke thought through public lectures and workshops as well as exhibitions. Under his directorship, the Haus der Kunst will also open its doors to new debates about contemporary media and the challenges of the global art world. It's not only just simply what we put on the walls, we have to be very, very clear uh, that what we present, that people across many different cultural horizons are able to decode it. We think that our community is not only one that comes into the museum. 
we also have a remote audience that may be in Jakarta, that may be in Lagos, that may be in Berlin, that may be in London. And we are trying to find a common platform through which we can bring some of these audiences together without neglecting the live audience that come here. Bringing Munich to the world and the world to Munich. Under Ukui and Weser, the Haus der Kunst looks certain to expand its horizons.